Hello everyone, welcome to day 14th of March Lead Code Challenge and I hope all of you are doing really well. Uh, let's go through the question together. Swapping nodes in a linked list. Uh, the question says you are given a linked list and, at, and an integer k. Uh, what you need to do? You need to swap uh, the two nodes in this linked list. One at the position k from the start and one uh, from the end. So the overall the question says you need to identify two nodes. The kth node from the starting and the kth node from the big ending and you need to swap those two values and uh, return the updated list. So let's understand this with an example. This is the input list 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and k here stands for 2. That means you first of all you need to identify the, k, the second node from the beginning. So this is the first index, this is the second index and you need to identify the second node from the last so which is 4 as shown here so this is the second node from the end now you need to swap 2 with 4 and 4 with 2 uh, the updated list becomes something like this so the problem reduces to identifying these two nodes in the linked list and then uh, swapping the, the two values so let's quickly understand uh, the algorithm that I have created for this let me just start the slideshow and let me just take a pen it seems like an easy question. I have taken a slightly different example to what was specified in the question. Here the total number of elements in the linked list are 6 and let's assume k is given to us as 2. I'll, I'll explain two approaches here. The first would be one would be the naive approach and the second would be slightly smarter approach. So let's go for the first one. In the first approach, we will calculate the length of the linked list which would be n by traversing across the list and then what we can do we can take two pointers the first pointer and the second pointer we will move the first pointer up to k times and s the second pointer up to n minus k times and once we have these two uh, these two uh, pointers the first and the second one we will swap its data and return the updated list the only issue with the naive approach is that you need to traverse the list twice one for identification of the length of the linked list n and the second one uh, for moving up to the first pointer up to k times and the second pointer up to n minus k times so if we can optimize it further to a single iteration that would be beneficial and let's move on to the second solution so let me just erase everything and let's talk about the second solution i'll be using the fast and the slow pointer approach that we need to do is to reduce k by one so because we are already at the first node so you don't need to move anywhere therefore uh, you need to reduce it by one and let's assume k is given to us as two so k gets reduced to one and you need to move the head of the linked list by virtue of the first pointer up to one time that means you just need to move to the next node so f moves to the next node and now let's take the second pointer s which gets initialized to the head of the linked list and you will move until the first node doesn't point to null so this is null and let's keep on moving first and second together so this gets here and second gets here first goes here second also goes here first goes here second goes here and now when you move first that then it reaches the terminal state which is null first dot next points to null that means you need to break the condition also this for the last iteration this moves to this position the second moves to this position now we have five and two uh, nodes at their respective instances also we cache this pointer value in some other variable 
F R before starting the operations together for F and F. Now we need to remove these two, swap these two nodes, F F R and S. So you take a temporary variable, you store the value of S in that, and you update F R nodes value here. So two get, goes here and this value gets updated with 5 the typical way of swapping two integers in the end the linked list is 1 5 3 4 2 6 hope uh, this algorithm is clear to you and the time complexity for this approach would be order of n since you are traversing the linked list only once space complexity is constant time because you don't require any extra space for solving this uh, so let's quickly move on to the coding part the first thing that I talked about is to update the value of k and reduce it by 1 and now let's define list node first n equals to head and let's move first node till the time k is greater than 0. So first n points to first n dot next. Why have we reduced k by 1? Because uh, the head is already at its first node, the starting of the list. And once we have done that, let's define few more pointers. List node f equals to first n. So we'll use f for the further iteration. And list node second n equals to head. till the time f dot next is not equal to null move both the pointers together second node equals to second node dot next and f equals to f dot next once we have reached uh, the once the first node f node reaches the end terminal state the second node will be pointing to the kth node from the end and let's just swap fn with first, for, uh, for second node and the first node's data integer temp equals to first n dot val first node dot val equals to second node dot val and second node dot val equals to temp let's return the head back let me just try and submit this code null pointer at line number 16 what we have there oh k minus minus i forgot to reduce k looks great and let me just submit it accept it the time complexity is order of n and space complexity is order of 1 thanks for watching the video hope you enjoyed it